South Dakota dropped a hard-fought 28-19 decision on the road in Grand Forks against North Dakota over the weekend. Here to talk about that is head coach Bob Nielsen. And, and you guys offensively, Bob, got off to a tremendous start in this game. Touchdown drives on each of your first two possessions. You guys were moving the chains on third down. Things were looking really good there early on that side of the ball. Yeah, it was back and forth. Um, you know, both teams were moving the football. Um, uh, probably one of the strangest games I've been a part of in 30 years when you look at the fact that uh, the number of possessions was so limited by the fact that both teams uh, were moving the football and, and controlling uh, uh, the football, particularly in the first half. On the defensive side, UND came out, was very intentional with that perimeter underneath passing game, and they were kind of dinking and dunking their way down the field. Was that just kind of how they operate or was it something that they saw on you guys and were, were just successful at executing? Well, definitely part of their plan uh, against us. Um, you know, we uh, we had a couple of chances in those drives, you know, to get them off the field in third down and, and they did a good job of converting, uh, caught us uh, in a pressure the one time uh, to, but uh, that was their plan is to get the ball on the perimeter um, and uh, be really patient with what they were doing, and, and they did a good job with that plan. Huge sequence toward the end of that second quarter. You guys were up 13-7. Uh, to seven. You got a big interception in the end zone. It looked like you were going to have a chance to maybe go up two scores before the half. Of course, right after that, Shamari Lawrence busts off a big run, and a holding call brings it back, and that changes everything in terms of how you approach that last possession offensively. I would think. Yeah, we were, uh, you know, the the plan for that possession was try to pop a run, which we did, um, and uh, and then get into two minute mode and see if we could get uh, at least a field goal on the board with that remaining two minutes. Well, within with the holding penalty, all of a sudden now you're backed up inside your ten yard line and. And really what you're trying to do at that point is get to half. Um, and so, you know, we did a good job of, of trying to run the clock down, uh, got it down, to, you know, to under 20 seconds there, uh, and then had to go out and execute a punt. And uh, something that we've done very, very well all year, we make a mistake, uh, miss a guy in protection, and, and their young man makes a great play and, and blocks a kick, which really uh, turned the momentum there right before half. Yeah, were you anticipating a, a full-on block there, or how did you have it kind of dialed up? Yeah, we, we you know we, we knew they were probably going to pressure. Uh, they ended up really not pressuring us with a, with a full pressure. They uh, uh, brought some people, but uh, not anymore or didn't really overload us. Uh, it was just a situation where uh, we, you know, a guy that was assigned to make a block missed a block, and again, you know, a team that's executed really, really well all year, um, and it was unfortunate that that occurred at the time that it did. Yeah, and unfortunately, that wasn't the only special teams miscue you, that you had. You had a missed extra point, you had that block punt, and then you had an extra point block later in the game. I, I mean, we talked about it Saturday. Uh, when you're on the road, you've got to execute flawlessly a lot of times in, in all three phases, and unfortunately, that particular phase let you down a little bit on Saturday. Yeah, it was disappointing because, honestly, kicking game has been um, a pretty steady group um, all year, and, um, you know, Eddie's been solid. Uh, he missed that first extra point. I think that maybe got uh, uh, into his confidence level a little bit. Uh, the second one was a matter of – of him taking just a little bit, you know, too much time um, on the kick. Um, and I think, you know, sometimes when you miss the first one, you get out of rhythm a little bit. Uh, and both those points were big because it, it changed the, the, you know, changed where we were at late in the game where all of a sudden, instead of being one score down, we were two scores down and how we had to change the, the last half of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and, and defensively, the guys stepped up, got a couple of big stops, gave you the opportunities to, to try and chip into that lead down the stretch. But at the same time, North Dakota uh, really dialed up the pressure defensively, and they were just on attack mode as, as you guys tried to uh, make some things happen down the stretch of the game. Yeah, you know, we, we had the ball there at the five, six-minute mark, um, you know, in the midfield range. We, we needed to get points on the board in that possession to – uh, well, even if it was a field goal to get back into a one-score game, and and uh, we had some opportunities there to complete some passes. Uh, you know, pressure got us, uh, got made us get rid of the football there uh, a little bit earlier than we wanted to. You know, looking back on that, uh, you know, maybe could have run the ball there in a, a couple of situations. Uh, we we had a good mix going to get to that point. Uh, at the same time, you know, we, the clock was becoming a factor. And uh, you know, knowing that we had to have another possession after that one, uh, we had to be a little bit more aggressive. And, and uh, um, you know, when we get those man-to-man -man coverage situations, we got to win some of those battles.
Yeah, an unfortunate result because uh, you did a lot of things well on Saturday. It's certainly one of your better performances in, on the road so far this season or, or overall this season, uh, and you come up a little bit short, and you, you head into this final week of the regular season now, home against Northern Iowa. Obviously, you guys have played very well in your building, and you've got a little extra incentive with 12 seniors uh, playing for the final time in this building on, on Saturday. Yeah, senior days are always special, <clears throat> you know, regardless of where you're at in the season, you know, whether you're playing for a conference championship or, or not. Uh, it's an opportunity for, uh, you know, a really uh, a great group of young men to play their, their last game here in the Dakota Dome. And uh, it'll be an emotional day for them. It'll be an emotional day for all of us. And hopefully that emotion carries us to a great performance.